and shall come to pass. When all these things have come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee, and shalt return unto the Lord thy God, and shalt obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity, and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whither the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. Israelites, when you build an evil altar to devils, that would bring the wrath of the Most High upon you. What would an altar built to the Most High in righteousness bring? When you build an altar to the Most High, Yah said he will visit the altar and bring blessings with him. An altar of earth thou shalt make unto me, and shalt sacrifice thereon thy burnt offerings, and thy peace offerings, thy sheep and thine oxen. In all places where I record my name, I will come unto thee and I will bless thee. The Most High will bless those who keep his laws. The Most High will defend, protect, and bless the people who serve him in the spirit and in the truth. The Israelites that serve the Most High with all of their heart and mind, they do not lean on their own understanding, but trust the Most High. Yah's ears are attentive to their prayers. In this generation, your altar is your prayer life, Israelites. If you are praying effective prayers, the Most High will hear you. An effective prayer is building a righteous altar to the Most High. The scriptures reveal to us when we build an altar to the Most High, He will visit the altar and bring blessings. Since building an altar to the Most High will bring blessings, every Israelite who have awakened to their identity and those who serve the Most High in the spirit and in the truth should be praying without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. When you pray an effective prayer, the Most High will hear you and he will protect, defend, and provide for you. When the heathens build an altar to their idols, they make a sacrifice to their idols. The principality will visit the altar. The idol will establish a covenant with the heathen. The heathen will perform the ritual. Once the ritual is complete, the heathen will receive what he or she is asking for. The heathens have to work for their so-called blessings from the kingdom of darkness. Depending on what they are seeking, some heathens have to give up their entire family and perform diabolical rituals to maintain what Satan gave them. If they break the covenant in any way, they put their family and themselves at risk. Some heathens lose everything and suffer public humiliation, while majority of them lose their life. Hollywood is a prime example. Just because you are an Israelite, this do not conclude you get to receive everything that you want without doing the right thing. You have to abide by the laws that govern the spirit and physical realm. If you transgress the laws of the Most High in any way, you are under the wrath of the Most High until you repent. Israelites, when you pray an effective prayer and make your petition known to the Most High, give the Most High a sacrifice by fasting. The Most High will hear you and grant you the desires of your heart. Israelites, the Most High wants to bless his people. Yah wants to see his people prosper. There is nothing the Most High will withhold from any Israelite serving him in the spirit and in the truth. The scriptures confirm that there is no good thing will the Most High withhold from those who walk uprightly. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Now that you know the Most High will not withhold anything from you, this should encourage you to build righteous altars to the Most High. When you build the altar, expect the Most High to respond. In all things, whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. What most Israelites do not understand, sin affect your relationship with the Most High because the wages of sin is death. In addition, sin separate you from the Most High. Behold. The Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. 
When sin separate you from the Most High, Yah cannot hear your prayers. If the Most High is not listening to your prayers, you are at the mercy of the kingdom of darkness. Some Israelites cannot comprehend that sin separate you from the Most High. Yah is your protector, provider, and your entire life source. If you are not connected to the Most High, then the kingdom of darkness is having its way with you. The kingdom of darkness is working overtime to bring a separation between the Most High and you. When the disconnection happens, we witness Israelites becoming victims to police brutality. We see Israelites getting beat up in the heathens' establishments. Israelites being accused of committing crimes they did not commit. Heathens calling the police on Israelites simply because they feel you do not belong. To add insult to your injuries, none of the heathens is held accountable. Some Israelites will reference Deuteronomy chapter 28 curses as the reason to why our people is being defeated by our enemies. The truth is the Most High is not there to protect you when sin is found in you. Sin is transgressing the laws of the Most High. We all know that besides our ancestors' sin of disobedience, idolatry was the sin that caused the Most High to exile his people and we remain captives until today. The first commandment the Most High gave our ancestors was there should be no other gods before the Most High. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Israelites, the sin of idolatry is serious with the Most High. When you worship and serve another deity, you are giving the kingdom of darkness credit for what the Most High have done. The sin of idolatry is replacing the Most High with an inferior alternative. The truth is there is no other alternative. The Most High is the supreme ruler of all. There is none besides him. Satan deceived many into believing he can do what only the Most High can. Israelites, Satan cannot do whatever he wants. Satan must get permission to do certain things. Satan had to ask the Most High to remove the edge of protection Yah placed around Job. Yah granted Satan access to afflict Job. However, the Most High did not give Satan permission to kill Job. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for naught? Hast not thou made an hedge about him, and about his house, and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth thine hand now, and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. To the people who will accuse the Most High of mistreating Job, the Most High knew beforehand that Job would remain loyal. The scriptures reveal to us that Job was a righteous man. Israelites, if you are righteous like Job, the Most High will place an edge of protection around you. The Most High have his angels encamp around the righteous to protect and deliver them. What most people fail to realize about Job, Job forged a covenant with the spirit of fear. Once Job gave the spirit of fear permission, it granted Satan access to afflict him. If you know the laws of the Most High, a covenant must be established first. Yah gave us dominion on earth. For the thing which I greatly feared is come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come unto me. Covenants are important, Israelites. When you forge covenants, regardless if it's good or bad, the Most High will honor all covenants. It is important for the kingdom of darkness to forge covenants with you. By forging covenants with devils, you give that devil permission to oppress and torment you. In addition, that devil will invite other tormenting spirits to afflict you. Israelites, the curses in Deuteronomy 28 are poured out on the wicked of his people. Many Israelites use the curses as an excuse to defend our inability to defeat our enemies. Many Israelites are perishing because of a lack of knowledge, not because of the curses. The scriptures did say, through knowledge will the just be delivered. In addition, my people perish from a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. If you are suffering from the curses, sin was found in you. 
Many of our people do not know they are the descendants of the Israelites. Due to their lack of knowledge, they do not know what is required of them, therefore they are perishing. Some Israelites who are aware of their identity do not know how their enemies operate. Rahab the harlot was saved because she was found to be faithful in protecting the spies. How much more would the Most High protect and provide for you today, Israelites, if you are truly serving him in the spirit and in the truth? I have never seen the righteous forsaken. I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. I believe many of our people use the curses as an excuse to continue to indulge in the affairs of the heathens. On the other hand, they allow Satan to deceive them into giving up. The Most High want his people to live among the heathens, not join them. The Amish is living among us and they are doing well. We should be able to live among the heathens. It is when our people fight to join the heathens, that is when many of them perish and nobody is supporting them. The kingdom of darkness take advantage of our people. The reason we are not supposed to be a part of the heathen system. Those of us who are aware of what is happening, we can clearly see the curses are on the rebellious of our people. Our success is not the same with the heathens' success. The heathens believe the more material wealth gain, in addition, money, power, and fame equals success. That is all vanity. Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house which have eyes to see and see not. They have ears to hear and hear not but they are a rebellious house. Israelites, the curses was poured out on our ancestors. Since we are their descendants, we are in the land of our captivity. We do not have to suffer the same fate. Anyone who breaks the laws of the Most High are an enemy to the Most High, and the penalty for that sin will pour out on that person if they do not repent. If you are repenting and serving the Most High, you will not be under any curse. I find it interesting that most Israelites accept the curses and skip over the blessings in the same chapter. Israelites, this is why the Most High gave his people the opportunity to repent. The scripture said, it is when we turn from our wicked ways and serve the Most High with all of our heart, that is when the Most High will reverse our captivity. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Israelites, you will never hear me say we are under the curses. The reason I read the scriptures and I understand the importance of Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. Because death and life is in the power of the tongue, I will make sure to speak life into my people and myself. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. If you want to use the curses as an excuse, you are only cursing yourself. Israelites, now that you are aware that death and life is in the power of the tongue, the curses are on the wicked of our people, let us talk about the altars that you built to other gods that is furthering your demise. The heathens know the laws of the Most High better than you do. They collaborated with the kingdom of darkness to keep you in sin. You believe you are serving the most high and in good standing. All along, you are in sin. When the heathens replaced the Messiah with a portrait of their likeness, the heathens told you that image was the Messiah and Yah in the flesh. Many Israelites worship that image. Most Israelites believe that image is the Elohim of Israel. That is idolatry at its finest. When you run to the heathens for help, or when you put your trust in the heathens, that is idolatry. The Most High should be first, and the Most High is your king. Many Israelites participate in witchcraft. Witchcraft and idolatry goes hand in hand. Many Israelites have the same evil altars we see in the heathens' establishments in their homes. They use the evil altars to cast spells on their people or to gain wealth and luck. Many Israelites are building altars to Baal and Malek until this day. Again, thou shalt say to the children of Israel, Whosoever he be of the children of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn in Israel, that giveth any of his seed unto Malek, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones, 
and I will set my face against that man, and will cut him off from among his people, because he hath given of his seed unto Moloch, to defile my sanctuary, and to profane my holy name. The Most High said any one of his people that participate in witchcraft, he would cut them off from his people. In addition, they should be stoned to death and their blood would be on their own hands. A man also, or woman that hath a familiar spirit, or that is a wizard, shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones, their blood shall be upon them. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits and after wizards to go a whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul, and will cut him off from among his people. The Most High reserve harsh judgment for his people that are witches and warlocks. These workers of iniquity interfere with the destiny of other people. Due to their interference, many people stumble and stray from serving the Most High. Israelites, many of our people indulge in some form of sorcery. This is one of the many reasons we cannot get ahead as a nation. Many of our people become hopeless and no longer believe in the Elohim of Israel due to the increase of trials. The hopeless Israelites would trade the Most High for the idols of the kingdom of darkness. By doing this, they bring the judgment of the Most High on their family and themselves. When you witness Israelites falling by the wayside, it is not because they are innocent and the heathens are picking on them. It is because they violated the laws of the Most High and refused to repent. Due to the increase of brutality on our people from the heathens, many Israelites believe the victims are innocent. They may not violate the laws of men, but they were found guilty of violating the laws of the Most High. The laws of the Most High supersede any other laws. We cannot support criminals. I notice we have a habit of supporting evildoers in our community. Israelites, you never want to participate in another person's sins. The scriptures reveal to us that the Most High said he would judge the people who knew an Israelite is participating in idolatry and ignore it. And if the people of the land do any ways hide their eyes from the man, when he giveth of his seed unto Moloch, and kill him not, then I will set my face against that man, and against his family, and will cut him off, and all that go a whoring after him, to commit whoredom with Moloch from among their people. When you enter an establishment with evil altars, that is idolatry, because you are forging covenants with the idols. If you are aware that there are evil altars in a business that you love to shop, would you continue to give your money to that business? If you know that a covenant is being forged with the idols the heathens serve, in addition, curses are being placed on you and some heathens are sacrificing you to their altar, why continue shopping there? When you stop supporting the satanic businesses, you will save plenty of money to live the lifestyle you desire. With the money you save by not supporting satanic businesses, you can invest in building generational wealth for your family and helping your communities. The scripture said, a good man live an inheritance for his grandchildren. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Abraham left all that he had to Isaac. Abraham was wealthy. The Most High blessed him because he was a righteous man that served the Most High in the spirit and in the truth. Any Israelite that served the Most High in the spirit and in the truth, the Most High is with you and he will not forsake you. The Most High will fight for you. Do not listen to the naysayers that use the curses as an excuse to keep you in sin. In addition, they use the curses to stop you from prospering and building generational wealth for your grandchildren. Remember, death and life is in the power of the tongue. To the Israelites who are not aware of evil altars in a business, it is important to be alert and look for anything that will cause you to stumble by bringing a cursed thing into your house. If the establishment is hiding the altar, it is important that you build an altar to the Most High by prayer and repent daily. Add fasting to your prayer life. Israelites, what is the purpose of building an altar and not give a sacrifice? Fasting is your sacrifice. You do not have to fast every day, but you want to include fasting in your routine a couple of days a month. The amount of times you fast is what you and the Most High decide. Plan your daily routine with the Most High. Ask the Most High to teach you how to discern the heathens and Israelite businesses with evil altars. Most importantly, Israelites, repent daily. 
A good example I want to give you to help you discern, we have Israelites and heathens running to Popeyes for a sandwich. What spell did the owners of Popeyes cast on the people who consumed the sandwich? What rituals did the owners of Popeyes did to cause many Israelites to go crazy over a sandwich? To witness the pandemonium our people have for a sandwich is heartbreaking. Whoever controls the mind controls the body. The Popeye sandwich is revealing the numerous amount of our people being controlled by the kingdom of darkness. You have to be able to discern these events, Israelites. The Israelites who went crazy for this sandwich is led by the flesh and not the spirit. They have no idea who they are. In addition, they are following the heathens. And you shall not walk in the manners of the nation, which I cast out before you. For they committed all these things, and therefore I abhorred them. Israelites, it is when you made a personal decision to follow the Most High, that is when the Most High will be with you to protect, provide, and fight your battles. You have to do your due diligence. We are living in the land of our enemies. The heathens are at war with you. Sadly, most Israelites are not aware, nor are they prepared. The heathens responded to the awakening by declaring the awakening hate speech. The heathens waste no time by not recommending Israelite channels, shadow banning channels and pages across all social media. They updated their community guidelines to make it legal to ban Israelite channels. They even refer to us as black identity extremists. While the heathens took action, most Israelites are sitting around waiting for the Most High to rescue them. My question to you Israelites, while you are waiting for the Most High to save you, what are you doing to work out your salvation? Through knowledge will the just be delivered. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee.